So good morning, everybody. This has been a long time coming. You know, I don't show my face on these videos because who wants to see an old mug? I'm 59 years old. I'm old. You don't want to see that. You want to see beautiful lights and things shining and waterfalls and things like that. Yeah, but I've got something that's stuck in my craw and I got to get off my chest. Okay. The Omicron. That's the latest variant. I guess it's called the Omicron. Now, I thought this was going to be a Delta name or something. Omicron? Is that a Delta number? You know, I only took trig in school. And my ex helped me with that. I don't know about these del de 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 these uh, 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 Deltas and Omegas and Orions. I don't know. All right. This is what's stuck in my craw. Yet again, people are pushing back. They call it the backlash of people trying to do the right thing to get these variants under control. And you got these people running around here. Uh, you're stepping on my rights. I have the right to not wear a mask. I have a right to not get vaccinated. I have a, I have, okay. All right, boo. We understand. We hear you. But hear this. And hear those of us who did the right thing. Because there's a right thing and there's a wrong thing. Okay? People who don't get vaccinated and wear their masks in my opinion, and in a lot of people's opinions, are extremely selfish. And they know who they are. I've got some in my family. Having said that, backlash, okay, then you're on YouTube and everything. When you catch it, <sighs> I'm, I'm so sorry that I made this decision. And I'm never going to get to walk my daughter down the aisle and all of that BS. But my problem with that is, okay, you know what? People make mistakes and then they have some, um, you know, changes their mind and all that kind of stuff. But if you are anti-vaxxer and you don't believe in science, you don't believe in the doctors, you don't believe in Dr. Fauci from NIH, and you're just going to go with it. Okay. But when you get sick, this is my problem. Because now you want to take up a bed and a hospital. You want to take up the time of doctors and overworked doctors and overworked nurses. But all you had to do is do the right thing. And I'm not trying to say that getting the shot means that you are not going to catch it because Lord knows, everybody knows my struggles. I got the shots with an S. I got the shots. The second shot made my legs look like elephantitis. I didn't know who they, these. I woke up well, on that second shot two days later. I'm like, who the hell's legs, feet, and ankles are these? Because they sure are not mine. They are not mine. They were just as tight as a drum. It was hard to get around. I haven't worn a shoe for six months. I was taking Lasix. My doctor didn't know. He was him and a humming and him and a humming and him and a humming around. He didn't know what to do. I had to do my due diligence, take over my life and said, this is what's happening to me. Get on board, doctor. Get on board. You put me through a battery of tests for my liver. Yeah, I'm going off the board and I've gone off subject, but that's all right. I, I, come, I bring it around. I'm going to bring it around. Don't you worry. I took tests for my liver. I took tests to see if I was diabetic. I took tests. I, my blood pressure was on point. I had vascular tests. I had tests to see if I was going to uh, have, um, I almost said keloid, Lord. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, those, the, the blood uh, things that go through your heart, you know. Yeah, those. So I said, look, doctor, you drained my insurance. This is what my problem is. It's the shot. And I went to CVS and the and I because my mother's all about anything that swells up, you know, you need to get put Epsom salt. You got you need to get you need to soak up some Epsom salt. That's from back in the day. Blood clots was what I was trying to think of. See, I came around with that. Now I go to CVS and I tell them, well, I'm having some problems with my legs. I had the second shot and I got swollen. She said, Oh, you got the second shot. Of Pfizer, didn't you? 
And so I said, okay, do tell. You obviously know something that I don't know. She said, yeah, my employees, we give the shot here. My employees got the shot, and a lot of them have uh, shown signs of swelling of the lower extremities and are calling in sick. I said, well, shut the front door. Stick a fork in me. I am done. Are you serious? Of course, I called my lawyer. She's like, you can't touch them, boo. You can't touch them. Federal government saw to that. What you're going to have to do is just try to get better. Oh, okay. <sighs> Six months I've been dealing with this. My feet are and legs and ankles are finally going down. But, boy, I've been through it. I've been through it. Then I got had a boil on my leg that looked like somebody's head. I was waiting to brush its teeth. I was waiting to brush its teeth. This boil was huge. Then it started draining. I'm sitting there my, by minding my own business. It's something trickling down my leg. But we, you know what that is. A boil, Scott. You know what in it. Trickling down my leg. I had to put a towel underneath my foot. So it drained. I've weathered the storm. And I've come back around and I'm okay. But now they're talking about boosters. Nope. No boosters for John John. They're talking about um, um, every four months, every six months, a booster or something. Nope. Uh, my mother asked me, was I getting a flu shot? Nope. I'm not going to be a human pin cushion for nobody. I'm good. You know, I'm a flu player. I'm a damn good one. And I like to play. Uh, I like to give recitals. I've given two recitals. They've gone really, really well. I would love to go to um, old folks' homes, nursing homes, whatever you're calling them these days. And I would like to play for them for free. You know, you got to pay it forward, give back. God gave me some talent, and I want to pay it forward. But even though they may have their shots, the elderly people, you can't bank on uh, the workers and the family members and people coming in on the, of, of those buildings. So I got to take off my mask to play the flute. I can't. I'm not a violin player. I've got to blow into the flute. I got to take that mask off. So we're at a stalemate with that one. So now, wrapping it up, coming back around, yeah, you've got regrets after not taking your shots and all, and now you're sick. Well, get sick, take your sick behind, because you got your rights. Take your rights and your sick behind and go sit out in the parking lot, go sit in a dumpster. Uh, I, don't care, uh, I don't care where you sit. Just don't take up a bed in the hospital and don't take up the time of the of the healthcare workers. They got things to do for people who like to follow the rules. You can't have it both ways. You can't. I'm an anti-vaxxer. I'm going to do. I have my rights. OK. And then when you get sick, can you please help me? No, we can't help you. We tried to help you. And now there's no help for you. Keep it moving, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. And that's all I've got to say. I feel purged. I feel lightheaded. I feel good. Maybe because I talk so much, I didn't get any oxygen to my brain. But I feel good. Have a great day, y'all. Turkey Day was amazing. I was with my friends. And we kikied and laughed. And uh, I'm having a wonderful time. I'm uh, My car is coming. They've ordered my car. My mother has been very gracious to let me drive her truck. Say, uh, I, I Jeep, Grand Cherokee L, wonderful vehicle, but it ain't no Mercedes. That's all I'm saying. I love everybody. <sighs> and the weather outside is frightful.